What's going on guys, I know player here and today we're going to be talking about new DLC camos and armor sets available in Advanced Warfare. And before the video starts, I'm doing another huge giveaway on my Twitter, giving away three Ascendance DLC codes for Xbox One. All you need to do is retweet the tweet in the description also be following me on Twitter. Same as normal, very, very simple. Just go to that link at the top of the description and I'll be picking three people randomly to win an Ascendance DLC code. And I've also got more stuff to give away, so stay tuned on my Twitter. But today we're going to talk about new armor sets. We've got some very cool stuff coming soon and some stuff that's available right now in the game so officially sledgehammer have finally announced that these four armor sets to be in supply drops these aren't purchasable they're not personalization packs that like we normally have before like micro dlc these are only available in supply drops as of right now uh, you have the chance if you open a supply drop on the xbox 360 or the xbox one to get this gear and quite a few people have been getting this and tweeting me and uh, showing off that they've got this new gear uh, they're only available right now on 360 and xbox one and as always we unfortunately don't know when they'll be coming to playstation or pc hopefully soon it does suck to see all you playstation guys have to wait for stuff just because of that deal that Microsoft and Activision have. Uh, but I'll keep you guys up to date with the latest here on my channel or on my Twitter, of course. And uh, let me know in the comment section if any of you guys have some of this gear and which is your favorite out of these four. Which is your favorite and which do you really, really want? I think the Psychedelic is really cool, but you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. You're literally just like this glowing rainbow soldier just boosting around. You're going to be really, really obvious and kind of like alert people to where you are when they just kind of spot a rainbow from across the map. Especially if it's like a dark map, like the Chop Shop map or any dark map in Advanced Warfare. You can be very, very visible. It's very important to keep in mind these micro DLCs often there's very bright ones that look cool in person but uh, when you're actually playing the game you're actually going to stick out quite a lot and sometimes it can make a difference when getting killed and like just not being seen at all and uh, I think for that reason my personal favorite is the actual biohazard I think it looks really really cool to be honest and it's got this really cool like unique look that none of the other armor in advanced warfare has it's like a green version of those same enemies we had in single player working for atlas and uh, I think that's really really cool I do like the biohazard but let me know in the comment section which of these four is your favorite so that's all cool but we do know there is more armor and camos that we didn't get see announced and Mark Quandry tweeted out this image during champs and it shows the backdraft and psychedelic uh, plus that cowboy suit and it also shows this surfboard set in addition to this burning wood camo which is called Tiki and the green one with leaves floating over it which is called Lagoon those two on the right there and uh, those two didn't get announced so we're wondering kind of what's up with those and where are those like they haven't been announced haven't been talked about and uh, we only got the initial four that I just showed you that have been announced to be in supply drops and so there are three more packs and armor sets that haven't been announced another interesting thing is that you guys might remember in a video I did a few weeks back uh, I showed off four leaked camos in the game files and they are the psychedelic which is that pink one uh, the fiery one which is backdraft and as uh, so those two are cool we've already got kind of announcements for those and there's also Tiki and Lagoon which were kind of like confirmed camos and we still don't know anything about those so we know that there's like a corresponding camo for the Tiki and Lagoon we haven't heard anything about them. we don't know what form we're going to be receiving them uh, we know there's corresponding weapon camos so like they're probably going to be a personalization pack we normally have camos with like an exosuit to kind of go with it you pay a few dollars or pounds you get the camo you get like a reticle and red dot site you get the emblem you get the player card and also the exo and helmets that's what a full personalization pack is and normally you get all of that stuff so mainly the camo and the armor set but here we've only got like announced that you can get the armor set within supply drops and we're not sure what's happening with the camos because as i said in my last video where i showed off the camos uh, those are definitely in the game and unless they're placeholders they decide to scrap last minute which i really really doubt uh, they're probably going to be in some sort of personalization pack coming very very soon it's really weird to see that they've kind of like given away the psychedelic exo and the backdraft exo in supply drops it seemed like they'd normally put them in buyable packs and i'm pretty certain they will be buyable micro dlc in the coming future but it's kind of weird that you can obtain uh, just those two also in supply as, as like a little extra because we know those cameras exist it's very likely there will be a, a personalization pack for these very very soon to buy so the psychedelic the uh, tiki the lagoon and also the backdraft one so those four are like really cool camos obviously there's no camo for the cowboy there's no camo for the biohazard and there's no camo for that surfer guy. Those are probably just going to be stuck in their suppliers. That's probably going to be the only way you can get that. Plus, uh, some of this, like the surfer and the cowboy gear, they have like extra stuff. So they've got like uh, boots and they've got loadouts and stuff. So they probably won't be in personalization packs either. It wouldn't really make much sense. And of course, the biohazard won't be either. That will definitely be something you can only get in suppliers because that has like full gear. It's got like everything biohazard. It's got like gloves, pants, shoes, and all of that. And uh, so it seems like we've got three new full gears that you can get in supply drops the cowboy, surfer, and biohazard. And there'll be four personalization packs coming very soon and uh, you can get partial stuff of that in supply drops as well so a lot of camos and armor we don't know exactly how to obtain half it but hopefully soon we'll get more information and uh, they also increase the limit on buying advanced supply drops so i don't know i might buy more and do another opening for you guys because they're like an extra i think like 400 supply drops you can buy so you can spend a lot of money on these things and i'm not sure now that you can get more of this armor i think i might buy a few and uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video give a like rating if you did and uh, don't forget to enter that giveaway i will link at the top of 
subscription for a chance to win three Ascendance DLC codes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys later.